the experience of forgiveness that Kylie just talked about comes as we open our hearts to God and our lives in complete and total honesty. Let me invite you to bow for a moment of personal confession and prayer, and then we shall join together in the prayers printed. Let us pray together. Most mysterious and loving God, we come before you not as those who are perfect practitioners of Christ's method, but as those who have sincerely admired him, yearned to be like him, yet have not always followed his ways. We admit to each other and to you, God, we have grabbed at life and hoarded it for ourselves rather than sharing and losing it in the cause of the gospel. We have sought the shabby glory of this world's praise and have badly compromised our faith in this mad pursuit. We have tried to deal with our anxieties by surrounding ourselves with possessions, but have reaped only deep discontents. We have trodden over the lives of others in our hurry to get what and where we want, but have, had, but have ended up missing out on much love. Every now and then we have dared to be bold in faith, hope, and love, and have briefly tasted the nobler joy of Christ, only to slip back again into a no-risk policy of self-preservation. Have mercy on us, O oh God, we pray. Amen. Fellow students in the school of life, know for certain that God in Christ has acted once and for all for our complete rescue and healing. Your teacher has become your savior. Trust in his saving grace and no longer weary yourself with guilt and frustration. The time is coming, says our God, when all people shall know me, from the least of them to the greatest, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sins no more. Thanks be to God.